Hi guys and happy October 25th. So I just wanted to hop on and share with you the November warmer and scent of the month. So this arrived a little about maybe two or three days ago and I finally am having a chance to film. So I wanted to take an opportunity to share with you this really cute warmer and this scent of the month. So let's get into it. So the first thing that I'm going to start with is the scent of the month. And the scent of the month is meant to be merry. And I really wish that we could just get the warmer. And I think another YouTuber said that I wish we just had the opportunity to get the warmer and not the scent um, or just the scent and not the warmer. You can just get the scent, and not the warmer, but it should be kind of flexible like that. Um, but what I typically do with the scent is I will always warm through one bar um, and the others that I have, because we usually get about eight or nine, I can't remember the number, uh, as I usually provide them to my customers that have ordered from a particular timeline and I send them a bar. So it actually helps keep my uh, business kind of flowing. It introduces folks to the product. Um, and it also is kind of friendly reminder to those who have purchased within the last um, month or two that we still are providing fun products between wax and warmers and things like that. So that's typically what I do with my bars. So the scent here is meant to be merry and it is bakery. So I was a little apprehensive because I'm really not, I like mint scents, but I don't like mint scents to be toothpaste-y, if that makes sense. So Candy Cane Buttercream was part of the um, Sensepirations collection last year. And I have, I kept the bar here, at Candy Cane Buttercream, and a lot of people are comparing it to that. Now, this is a very light performer. It did come back in catalog. I'm going to say that there is a difference between the two. So let me get into the scent notes of what Meant to be Merry is. It's really cute. It's got little stars and peppermints. Um, I've already warmed two cubes just to try it out because I'm really not ready for uh, Christmas scents yet. So the top note, here's the scent profile. The top notes is crushed candy cane, which you get. The mid note is butter cookie and the base note is sparkling sugar. So what I get, uh, and I'll read the explanation, it's merriment fills the air when crushed candy cane and sparkling sugar, sugar brighten a creamy butter cookie. So the bar for the month of November will be 540. There'll be a room spray for spray for 720 and a scent circle for 270. So I get on cold the crushed candy cane. And honestly, maybe some sort of a sweet note. I don't know if it's the cookie or if it's the sugar. Now, when I was warming it, you do get a hint, very light hint. It's a very light scent. I only had two cubes going, so I usually have, if not the whole clam in my open concept. But I wanted to see how it performed with just two cubes in my open concept. And I was able to smell it in my kitchen. And it didn't really wharf any path. Like, it didn't go into my front room or in my sitting area. It was very, very light. So I'm going to say that if you like mint scents and, a, and it's more like a butter mint. So if you've ever seen that tin growing up with the little butter mints or those mints that you get when you go to a restaurant and they used to be able to, you know, pick them up, you know, this was even before COVID with your hand or your spoon or a spoon and I'm Italian from New York, you'd be able to kind of take those with you. That's what I get from this. Warming, you get like a really light hint of cookie. I don't really get much cookie at all. So you really have to like butter mint scents. But again, it's very light. So if mint scares you and you wanna branch out and try a mint bakery, this is one for you. Now, do I like it better than candy cane buttercream? Yes. So candy cane buttercream comes off more creamy, but I do get more I don't even know how to put it, but there is more of a creamy note to this one. You don't get much mint. This, you definitely get mint. But I do prefer this one better, which makes no sense. 
So maybe it's because this one is a very light performer. I typically have this warming down in my basement to kind of just freshen up um, the space come like the winter time. But I did warm two more cubes to compare to this. Mint to be merry is stronger than candy cane buttercream. So if you were hoping to get more from candy cane buttercream, meant to be merry would probably be it. But again, there is more of a bakery note than candy cane buttercream. So again, I don't know if it's the sugar. I don't know if it's the light cookie. It's just different. So they, they're they not really comparable in my opinion, but they are, if that makes sense. So I say if you're new to bakery or new to like mint scents, this is a very light performer and I highly recommend it. So that is meant to be merry and it is in the bakery collection all right now let's get to the warmer so the warmer is merry little christmas and it's a retro tray you've all seen them i think several companies online have sold them so i really like that sensi is taking part in that so this is a retro charm shines bright for the holidays colored lights add a festive glow to this vintage inspired warmer and so it's nine and a half inches tall and it is an element warmer and I was actually really shocked that the warmer is 13 watts because this is, I think, the highest wattage that Sensi has done to date with an element warmer. I think the highest that I've seen is either eight or nine, but Sensi is definitely a, got a little stronger with their wattage. Um, so I think this is going to be a really good performer as a hot plate. And so here's the dish. I typically don't overload it, but it holds four cubes. Um, I usually do two because you get the same amount of scent throw, in my opinion. So let me show you the warmer first. Isn't that really cute? Unlit. Really, really cute detail on it. I'll get really, really close with the tree. Hand painted. Really, really cute, right? And let's turn this baby on. So that is really cute. I'm going to close the blinds and do it a little better. So really, really cute. Super nice with the lights, the details on the bulbs. Really super cute. Um, and then the dish sits on the back. So that is where the wax will go to warm up. So I really like how they did that because it gives you the scent throw in the back. And you can keep the tree facing forward. So really, really cute um, lit. So this will be available for $72, originally 80. So it's 10% off for the month of November. And it will be available starting on November 1st. And along with the Sense of the Season collection, that was an, uh, an incorrect date that I gave when I did my Sense of the Season uh, YouTube video. So those scents of the season will be available when this tree comes available, along with the meant to be merry scent. So I will post all that information below so that you can shop if you are new to Scentsy or need a consultant, you can shop my website or reach out to your consultant if you're interested in purchasing this cutie. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to share November's warmer and scents of the month with you. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day.